Ball is Life gang, welcome back to your favorite show, The Heat Check, brought to you by Ball is Life. I'm your host, that girl, Kayla Nicole, and today marks the 13 year anniversary of Kobe Bryant's legendary 81 point game. His point total in that game is the second highest in NBA history, which is why today should honestly be a national holiday. Hashtag Mamba Day. Am I right? I'm always right. Okay, guys, we're kicking it off today with the top highlights of the week. Let's go. First up, LaMelo Ball gives Julian Newman a big baller beat down. In one of the most anticipated matchups of the year so far, the LaMelo Ball led Spire Institute crushed Julian Newman and Danny Christian 117 to 80. Melo dropped an easy triple double with 14 points, 12 assists, and 10 rebounds in front of a jam packed crowd while Newman managed just 15 points. In just two days on YouTube, our highlight video from the game has over 1.5 million views. I mean, no wonder we're considered the elite provider of high school hoop highlights. <laughs> Next up, top freshman Imani Bates goes all the way off. Bates scored 43 points in a win over Ypsilanti High School last Friday. The six foot eight forward out of Lincoln High is one of the smoothest freshmen we've seen in quite some time. And he's got the complete scoring arsenal. But on a more funny note, check out this mugshot associated with Imani on Max Preps. <laughs> nice work, my guy. I wanna know which current high school, college, or NBA player does Bates remind you the most of? Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, check out this highlight. Two of the top PGs in the country go head to head. Jalen House of Shadow Mountain and Sharif Cooper of McEachern had an epic battle at the Bass Pro TOC. House is one of the most dynamic and entertaining players you'll find, while Cooper is as smooth and talented of a PG in the entire country, which made this game quite the matchup. McEachern, the number two team in the country, beat Shadow Mountain 73 to 61. All right, it's time for everyone's favorite segment, Hit it, Kawhi. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, Russell Westbrook and Joel Embiid are not cool. After the Thunder beat the Sixers 117 to 115 on Saturday, a reporter asked Russ about his relationship with Embiid, which Russ had some choice words for. Uh, I don't think he just landed on me. He had a little extra to it. Oh, man. But you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. Right. You guys are cool. No. So, what prompted the triple double machine to get so heated in that post game interview? Here's the play. Westbrook against Embiid, and Embiid hoppers him, lands on top of Westbrook. What a collision underneath, and Westbrook shaken up. Yeah. Embiid responded to Westbrook's comments and basically called Russ a sensitive Sally. Um, I don't know. I think I was going for the block and. Uh, I think he lost the ball, but I was already in the air, and uh, I don't know what, uh, uh, why he was mad. I have no idea, but he's always in his feelings, so I have no idea. We have a feeling that this rush Joel Beef will only get better with time, like a fine barefoot wind. The inside the NBA host doesn't like to smash beef like OKC Thunder center Steven Adams, but prefers to smash tricks. I don't know if I smash anything. You know what I smash? What's that? Tricks. Oh, wow. Those, 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 those bags of cereal? I once, I once ate an entire box of tricks after a show. Oh, my God. You were sick all night. No. The best part of all of this is Shaq's reaction to Ernie's love of cereal. Silly Ernie. Tricks are for kids. Last sweet, delicious tricks. The fruity part of my complete breakfast. Wow, delicious, yummy, awesome, stupendous. Huh? Tricks are for kids. Silly oh. rabbit. A rabbit can dream, can't he? We talked a little about Spire's win over Downey Christian earlier in the show, but what we didn't show you was the brand of water Mello was drinking during the game. Yep, you guessed it. Big baller water. I mean, we've got big baller shoes, big baller shirts, hoodies, beanies, but now, now we get water. The first ZO2 shoes dropped for like six bills. So how much do you think a bottle of big baller H2O costs? All right, guys, moving into our next segment, GTFOH. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. Get the f out. Top eighth grade prospect Mikey Williams hits a game winner and swats the shit out of some kid. Williams has become one of the most viewed middle school players of all time because of his crazy athleticism. I mean, the kid's already verified and has over 400,000 followers on IG. The f 
But Williams proved this weekend that he's got a little defense in his game and a clutch gene as well. That crowd was in a frenzy, but a lot of people think that he should have been called for an offensive foul prior to the shot. What do you guys think? Clay, please get the f out of here. Clay Thompson went absolutely nuts against the Lakers Monday night, dropping 44 points in the Warriors 130 to 111 win. Clay hit his first 10 three pointers of the game. That's right, 10, 10 becoming only the second NBA player to accomplish that feat. Thompson finished 17 for 20 from the field, including 10 for 11 from deep. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. In case you forgot or didn't already know, Hakeem Olajuwon was an absolute freak. The Dream is one of the best centers to ever grace the hardwood, and his name is often lost when discussing the best players in NBA history. Hakeem averaged 21.8 points, 11.1 rebounds, and 3.2 blocks per game, all while winning two NBA championships with the Rockets in the mid-90s. Get this, Olajuwon is one of four players to record a quadruple double, scoring 18 points with 16 rebounds, 11 blocks, and 10 assists, and a win over the Bucks in March of 1990. But this was after his first quadruple was taken away by the NBA when they accused the Rockets of stat padding. Speaking of stat padding, someone might want to take a look at James Harden. Check out this ultimate Dream Shake highlight reel. 7 4 lead here. Closing up to Clark. Turns inside. Oh, oh, oh Dream Shake! Oh, 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 oh. Elijah Wood! Oh. Juwan spinning one way back to fall away. Oh, the Dream! Put a little Dream Shake! Work on Bryant. Turns to the right side. Trying to turn baseline. Is Murray State's John Morant next up? The sophomore has been putting up not only crazy numbers this season, but also unreal highlights each and every game. The six foot three sophomore is averaging 24.3 points, 10.6 assists, and 5.9 rebounds per game, and has been climbing all of the NBA mock draft boards, currently sitting as a potential top five pick. Check out these clips from Morant's last game against SIU Edwardsville, where he dropped 40 points and 11 rebounds. I want to know which NBA player does Morant remind you of, and is he going to be a top five pick in the 2019 NBA draft? Hit us with your take in the comments. As we mentioned earlier, it is the 13th year anniversary of Kobe Bryant's 81 point game. So let's take a quick look back. On January 22nd, 2006, Kobe Bean Bryant of the Los Angeles Lakers dropped 81 points on the Toronto Raptors head, which was the second highest point total for a single player in NBA history to Wilt Chamberlain's 100. Here are some quick facts about the historic performance. The Lakers were down 18 points in the third quarter. Kobe scored 55 of the 81 in the second half, including 28 in the fourth quarter, and went 28 for 46 from the field. How many points do you think Kobe would average in this era of the NBA? I don't know, more than LeBron? It's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Pew, 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 pew. All right, guys, it's time for us to pick our comment of the week winner. And this week's winner of this super dope hoodie is, drum roll please, Henry Tornweeny. Mr. Tornweeny commented, Josh low-key thicker than half the girls at my school. Well, congrats, Mr. Tornweeny, because now you're going to get all the thick girls with your new Ball is Life hoodie. Our people will get in touch with your people. If you didn't win this week, don't worry. You'll have another chance to win some dope Ball is Life gear on our Friday episode. So stay locked to the heat check for the next giveaway. Well, that concludes today's episode, guys. But before I go, I hope you know that the show isn't a show without your feedback. We always invite you guys to be a part of the combo. Whether it's the first story or the last story that caught your eye, don't be shy and let us know what you think in the comments. And while you're here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay in the Ball is Life loop. Also, if you missed our last episode and you need to catch up, no big deal, just click right over here. And if you're a hoop junkie like myself and wanna check out our latest baller ass highlight video, click right over here. There are a million and one shows you could be watching, so thanks for keeping it locked here on the Heat Check. That girl, Kayla Nicole, logging off.